ثم يكون شيء إذا بردي حديث طيب الرجال ما طيب الرجال ما ظهر ريحه وخفي لونه وطيب النساء ما ظهر لونه وخفي ريحه. Can you like briefly explain this hadith and according to this hadith, if I use a perfume which is which has a bright color or which which doesn't have a very heavy scent, would it be considered as imitating woman? Jazakallahu khairan. Wa jazakum. This is a hadith at the moment. I'm not sure whether it was said by the Prophet والسلام, or by one of the companions, but it's a very well-known hadith. I have to recheck it. And it translates to the perfume of, of men is what has a scent and has no color. And the perfume or adornment of women is what has color but does not have a scent. Now this is regarding what a man or a woman may wear in front of one another even if they were non mahram providing it is not visible so a man <clears throat> can wear any type of perfume as long as it has a scent strong weak it doesn't matter you can wear any type of perfume but you are not you are not allowed to wear anything that has a color so you're not allowed to Wear, wear makeup, you're not allowed to put glitter on your body or wear henna, mehendi, on your body other than the recommended or uh, 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 permitted areas such as the hair and your beard for the henna. So this is for men. As for women, a woman cannot go out wearing perfume because this is totally prohibited. And the Prophet ﷺ made that a major sin. And one of the reasons to prevent a woman, a woman from going into a masjid, if she's scented and wearing a perfume where men can find the scent and the smell of it. But she can adorn herself with makeup, uh, lipstick, whatever, providing non mahram are incapable of seeing that due to her wearing the hijab and Allah knows best.